Well, hello, I'm David Freeman with Is That Really in the Bible? Did you know, I'm going to tell you something now that you may not, well, I'm quite sure, I don't even know if you have the potential to grasp what I am about to say. It's mind boggling, but if you can grasp what I am about to say, this one statement, it can save you a lot of hell on earth. It can save you a lot of confusion about a true relationship with God. In other words, if you don't understand what I'm about to tell you, you'll be chasing dead-end streets in the area of religion. You'll be on the merry-go-round of churchianity, and you'll never really come to a real relationship with God unless you understand what I'm about to say. Now, here it is. Satan the devil is the most deeply religious being you will ever encounter. Yeah, let me repeat that. Satan, the serpent, the devil, however you want to look at that, is the most deeply religious being that you will ever encounter. Now, yes, totally corrupted and perverted, yes, I agree, but he is deeply religious. Now, the unwillingness for religious people to acknowledge this has led to the confusion and deception that we see today in the area of religion. One of the reasons there are so many churches that dot our land, one of the reasons there are so many different doctrines and beliefs and religions out there is because we have failed to understand that Satan is the most deeply, one of the most deeply religious beings you will ever encounter. Now, let's, let's take a look at this verse here. It tells us something that should apply to most religious people. 2 Corinthians 2 and verse 11. It says, lest Satan should get advantage of us, for we are not ignorant of his device, or device is. Now, I have found that most religious people are indeed ignorant of how Satan works. Most religious people would say, okay, God is deeply religious, but Satan is not. Satan is evil. He is scary. They think of the occult. They might think of a Ouija board. They might think of a, a seance, Harry Potter books, uh, horror movies, the exorcists, uh, Halloween, uh, ghosts, cemeteries on a dark night, uh, a snake, uh, Satan in a red body stocking, you know, with a pitchfork, a little spade beard, and, you know. That, that's the stuff they think about when they think about the devil. They would say, well, okay, now God is deeply religious, but Satan is not. And then they, they chase this diversion, what I call a diversion. All of these areas that I just went through is nothing more than a diversion about Satan the devil that keeps them from the awareness that Satan is the most deeply religious being that, that, that you will ever encounter. Most people are chasing the diversions that are out there about the concept of Satan. Well, it's a sin, you know. Uh, I remember one time religious people got on the bandwagon about Harry Potter books, you know, and how evil they were and it's satanic and all that. And I imagine the devil is sort of laughing, thinking, do you really think I'm a magician going, do, do, going around doing magical things? You know, children playing with a Ouija board, Satan would probably say, do you really think a board game is the way you're going to get in touch with me? No, that's not what I'm about. Now, am I saying you should play with a Ouija board? Am I saying you should read Harry Potter books? You know, I don't know. I mean, I'm not saying that. I'm just saying there, there is a way that we look at Satan that is totally, it's nothing more than a diversion that keeps us from the awareness of what he's really up to.